My apologies for any audio issues in yesterday's video. A software update to my computer unknowingly corrupted my audio recording platform, resulting in a lopsided audio. That problem should be fixed. Now, this week of aviation promises to be quite a major one, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for breaking news on the channel. For now though, let's explore the future of aviation and with Airbus, who unveiled a brand new engine in recent weeks. Yes, that's correct. The new engine being developed will be a hydrogen powered fuel cell engine with a propulsion system considered as a potential option to equip to zero emission aircraft. These would enter service by 2035. Of course, zero emission hydrogen and newly developed types of engines have been hugely discussed in recent years. It's what many are hopeful and determined to make the future of aviation. And with that comes a lot of responsibilities and research behind the next era. Airbus plans to test this engine relatively soon, citing the middle of the decade. When will this engine debut specifically? Well, Airbus plans for the midway point of this decade, and it is all tied in with their Zero E demonstrator. To refresh your memory, that is indeed MSN-1, MSN-1 being the flight test Airbus A380, and the A380 chosen to complete these unique missions moving forward to test the next state-of-the-art technology. The Vice President for Zero Emission Aircraft at Airbus said, Fuel cells are a potential solution to help us achieve our zero emission ambitions, and we are focused on developing and testing this technology to understand if it is feasible and viable for a 2035 entry into service of a zero emission aircraft. While largely optimistic, an entry into service in 2035 is essentially what the European aircraft manufacturer is targeting. That's only now 12 years away, and while it may seem like a long time, it will approach far quicker than many will imagine. And for the aviation world, 12 years is not a very long time in terms of planning. During the time between now and then, Airbus will conduct many tests, from on the ground, inside the chambers, to flight all critical moments in the testing program to see if this technology would be the best solution and also practical for the future. Airbus says that they'll only continue to invest in the said technology. They say if all their targets are achieved at scale, an aircraft capable of carrying 100 passengers could fly some 1,000 nautical miles as well. Vital steps, of course, in the movement of their Zero E aircraft announced in recent years that would see development begin in the coming years, specifically towards the mid to late point of the 2020s. The future is undoubtedly exciting, and it becomes even more intriguing through Airbus's engine announcement. Long gone are the days of seeing engines for the A320neo at the spotlight of efficiency. Instead, a new era is well and truly upon us, and aircraft manufacturers, engine manufacturers, airlines and aviation companies alike are excited at the possibilities that it offers them to not only be greener, but also more efficient. What are your thoughts on the latest announcement from Airbus? Do let me know down below in the comments. A massive thank you for your continued support here. Do take care and be safe and make sure to stay tuned. Like I said, this week is going to be very busy in the aviation world.